Climate emergencies and extreme weather often lead to the spread of online misinformation, and the recent heat waves and drought in southern Europe are no different. In France, this photo of the country's longest river, the Loire, went viral. It shows part of the riverbed exposed near a rose bridge, and it was taken by a photographer for West France. Now, many people online shared this photo across social media, some people claiming that the Loire had run dry for the first time in more than 2,000 years, or that the river was flowing at its lowest ever rate. Now, it is true to say that many major rivers in Europe are flowing at extremely low rates. In the Loire's case, the lowest since dams were introduced in the 1980s. But it is not true to say that the entire river ran dry for the first time in more than 2,000 years. And this photo of the river is missing some context. Here in the Cube, we used open source resources to try and find exactly where that photo was taken. And we've pinpointed it to this location, in between Angers and Nantes. As you can see, the river here is actually separated by a landmass, and the bridge in that photo is located here. This is where the Loire effectively becomes two tributaries, and the northern part of the river, shown in that photo, has previously been exposed. Even if it is drier than usual this summer, it is not so unusual to see the riverbed exposed. Satellite photos show how the Loire is actually engineered to continue flowing along its southern but more narrow, uninterrupted tributary. As you can see here, the river continues to flow while parts of it remain dry and effectively become a dead arm. In fact, West France also published another photograph of that same exposed riverbed, where you can see in the background of the photo, the southern part of the Loire continues to flow uninterrupted, while this part of the river, this tributary, has run dry. And indeed, it is not so unusual to see this kind of pre in previous years. The climate expert in France, Thibault Laconde, shared this photo, where again, from May 2011, at that same road bridge, you can see part of the riverbed of the Loire tributary has been exposed. Laconde, like many other experts, has however admitted it is worrying to see the Loire this dry this summer, particularly given that in some areas it is as low as it has been since 1976. But it is not true to say that the entire river has run dry for the first time in nearly 2,000 years. And many people online have been sharing this photo of the river's tributary without some context, over-dramatising the situation.